Hello and welcome back to another video of Power Automate. As we all know that extracting data from PDF is a very common requirement in the corporate world. So in this video we are going to see how to get data from PDF using Power Automate and after getting data we will see how to write data from Excel in a structure manner. Here I am using same format PDF but next video we will see how to use different formats PDF. Before go ahead, it is request from all of you. Please hit the like button. One like is a big support for us. And subscribe my channel for more video. Let's start. Here you can see my screen. I create a new flow. Click on create. Flow is created. First action I take under this Excel okay. branch Excel. Take and drag and drop over here. Here I select this following document. So I have to the location of uh, my Excel file. So this is my Excel. I will use this for write the data. Next, get files in folder Excel. So take and drag and drop over here. Here I am giving the location where my PDF files. So this is the folder where my PDF files. Here I am using PDF. You can see that Excel written a variable as a list files name files. You can see. Next, I'm using here for each loop. Here. I give this this uh, variable files and I choose the variable so file. Next action I take under this PDF this extract data from PDF. I take and drag and drop under this for each loop. So here I use this file variable. So let's click on this. Click on C. Next action I will take split text. Take and drag and drop here. And here I have to give the this extract PDF text. Double click on this and here I select this custom option. So here I have to give the delimiter, custom delimiter like a word or some specific character you can give. This is my PDF file. And first I take this string, copy. Pasting here, and here I change the this variable name. First, split for customer name. We can see. Next, action set variable. Take and drag and drop here, and here I'm using that variable that I have created. Or first split for customer name. Here I want first string of the split. Here I give the name. Now click on C. Again I am taking uh, split action. Text action. Take and drag and drop over here. Here I select this variable that uh, after first split 
uh, here you can see uh, first split I I have used this uh, this text I'm getting this all data the variable is first split focus point and now I'm taking this text for a split copy first uh, select custom and text here paste. and also I'm changing the variable so split for name you can see again I'm uh, set variable action and now here I'll take this variable second is split for first one name so here I take a index 0 and the name customer name here I'm using display message also for we can understand that name we can see now in branch excel and this is the first one name here you can see this is first video first one name is custody uh, this is the customer second PDF customer name here I'm using only two PDF but both are same format now I want this email ID as well I'm using here split function again split action take and drag and drop here now again I'm using uh, extract PDF text and select custom and with the uh, delimiter so here you can see I want this email ID so first I take this uh, text for split paste here and here I change the variable First split for email. Email ID. Click on save. Same step we we are following. Like split, then set variable, then again split, then set variable and message box. Then take set variable action here. Take and drag and drop here. Now I take the first split for email ID variable this one. and now I'm here I want first first array here I give the variable name first split for email ID now again we will take this one split text and now I'm using this variable after first split for email ID. And now I'm select this custom option. And again I'm taking next next word or next text we can say. This one order number. And here change the variable name. This is the second split, so that's why I give the name as a second split for email ID. Click on save. Again, I'm click this is the set variable. Okay. Take and drag and drop here. Here I have select the variable that I have created. Second split. 
और ये मिल आएगी नाउ आई यूज जीरो एरे दिस इज दी ईमेल आईडी सो ईमेल आईडी ठीक है सेव दे आर यूजिंग डिस्प्ले मैसेज दिस टाइम वेरी वेल ईमेल आईडी ओके क्लिक ऑन सेव ओपन कस्टमर ने फर्स्ट कस्टमर ईमेल आईडी दिस इज सेकंड कस्टमर ने एंड सेकंड ईमेल आईडी ओके दैट्स फाइन बट नाउ आई वांट this email id and customer name in the excel sheet so for that i am using first i'll take this get first free this first free row action here so i disable this action but uh, i want first free row so click on save and can i take the right excel sheet right excel here i am using customer name variable this one this is the first column and row is first free row here i have to use first free row this one first we know okay click on save for email id i have to take another write to excel work instruction take and enter of here and now i select email id email id variable this one and now i want two column first free row click on save you can see here first i take action launch excel and get file in the folder action then i'll take uh, this for each loop and extract data from pdf excel now then i take this is split action next next get variable net next is then i have taken this add variable action then display for customer name and second split i have used for email id so split first split i have used Uh, set variable next i have used split text for second split and variable and display message and then next i have uh, taken this action get first free row or column from excel sheet wala then uh, then i take this write to excel worksheet for customer name and next i again i have taken this action for email id okay last is close action okay so now time to test let's test our flow first customer name first customer email id second customer name and second customer email id close it now here we we test our data is 
in properly or not yeah you can see here in the customer name column customer name in the customer email id column email id is um, properly okay so so our workflow is created Hope you enjoy the video. Please like and subscribe my channel for more video. I will see you in the next video with new topic on Power Automate. Till then, happy learning.